So Fox has the World Series. So I remember watching this game. It was actually a fun fact. The first thing I had ever done here at Fox Sports, I was hosting a World Series watch party with Nick Swisher, Tino Martinez, and Rick Ankiel. And it was that World Series. And I remember, I think it was game six, there was like a promo in between innings. They literally had you act like a cat and made cat noises. And my question for you is, who put you up to that? And was it like a lot of convincing to get you to do that? Or were you like, screw it, I'll just make a bunch of cat noises? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was pretty weird. Um, <laughs> before the before the first game of the World Series, there's, usually, there's an off day. And during that off day, we do our like media stuff. Um, so we went into that room and, and they were telling me what I needed to do. And I was just like, I don't want to do that. And they're like, come on, you can do it. And I was like, no, I don't want to do that. So then we did something else. And then we, he like, we went back to it. And he's like, I was like, no, I don't really want to do that. And he's like, come on. So then I just was like, all right, whatever, I'll just do it. <laughs> that's, yeah. pro- that's about how I figured it went down. What, how did your, where did this, th- there is a massive love of cats for you. And wh- where did that begin? Uh, boys had cats growing up, boys had dogs. So there's always been like animals in the household. Um, I've always had at least at least two cats and at least one dog uh, just roaming around. But um, yeah, in 2017 when I was in Rancho, uh, the pitching coach Kip Kip Wells would um, I think I don't remember if it was him or his wife. They were at like a thrift store and they saw like this five dollar shirt um, with a cat on it, and uh, they just showed up one day and it was on my chair and happened to be on a. Uh, I think it was a Friday actually, but uh, the next day I wore it out to stretch on uh, on Catterday, and uh, my friend Andrew Isler kind of kind of deemed it. Um, so yeah, it just kind of started, and every every Saturday I wore I wore that cat shirt because I only had one, and then slowly started expanding my, uh, my roster. <laughs> of how, many, shirts. how many do you have? If you had to guess, uh, probably over fifty, around fifty. Wow. I'm a I'm a big fan of dad jokes. Do all of your shirts? Because I've seen some of them. Are they all like puns? No, there's some that are just like images or like. Uh, actually, a good amount of them are, are puns. <laughs> but uh, some of them just have just have images of like a cat. Uh, but they could probably all be turned into some kind of pun. So are are cats? Is Saturday? Is is Saturday only days you start? Or is every Saturday Catterday? I'd say every every Saturday is Catterday for every sure. Every Saturday is uh, Catterday. Okay. Yeah, so I'll be wearing a shirt on all the on all Catterdays. Um, I do forget sometimes because get get ahead of myself and uh, forget what day of the week it is. Kind of sometimes they blend together, but uh, when I if, if I do remember, which is most of the time, then I'll definitely be wearing a cat shirt of some sort. Do you feel like? Catterday starts are more important like for the cats you know you have to do it for the cats um maybe for the cats but uh overall every start <laughs> is important i just try to try to keep myself in uh, uh even keel uh you know going into the every fifth day did you ever expect in your big league career you know obviously you've had cats your whole life as you said did you ever expect it to become as big of a thing in the big leagues as it did no, if I was 10 years old and someone said, hey, in, uh, you know, 15 years, you're going to be known as the cat man in the big leagues because you wear cat shirts, I'd have been like, what are you talking about? Um, <laughs> so, yeah, but uh, yeah, don't don't hate it. Uh, it's kind of great. Uh, someone just That's recently great. when we were in Atlanta made like some mesh of my face and a cat's face. It was kind of weird, but uh, it kind of grew on me over the over the weekend. But uh, yeah, it's definitely interesting to see that. That's great. Thanks for watching. If you love flipping bats, swinging 3 0, or just talking ball, join us. Call us at 213 537 9339 with your questions. We have a weekly guest and we have a lot of fun, so hit that subscribe button.